Gaming. This is episode three, recorded uh, December twelfth, two thousand fifteen. I'm your host, Randall Smith, bringing you all the gaming of those other podcasts and none of the music. That's right. There's no music on today's podcast because I'm playing Minecraft, and you can actually turn the music off. <laughs> it's a Christmas miracle. Hey, welcome to the show. Got all sorts of uh, fun and exciting things to talk about today. Uh, so, we'll get into that while I uh, play a little bit of Minecraft. I'm Just to set the stage so you know what I'm doing while I'm playing before I start digging into the, all the fun news stories. Yeah, I started started a new mine, so get down and uh, explore some of that. Actually, I need to, before I do that, though, <laughs> I need to make a few more pickaxes here. So I will uh, do that real quick while you listen to the zombies outside my door. <laughs> I don't think zombies can climb ladders, so uh, <laughs> should be reasonably safe. All right, so let's talk about let's let's talk about stuff that's going on here today. So, first story up. Actually, it's a, a handful of stories that it, it's that sucks to have to talk about. <laughs> um, the first was a. Uh, very nice story from, um, it was in the, what was that, it was in the New York Times, and, you know, I don't generally read the New York Times, it's not exactly one of my, uh, go-to places, but it came, they had a really good story on swatting. Now, Swatting, if you spent any time uh, online with gaming and stuff, you've probably heard of it. You know, maybe I should have made another sword while I'm up there. Let me go do that real quick. Um, and the idea is some idiot fakes, uh, fakes a, a call from your house. Oops, I need more sticks. Um, fakes a call from your house to um, bas basically try to get the police to come and basically invade your house with a SWAT team, which is generally an unpleasant experience. So I don't know why people feel the, the need to do this. Um, obviously, there's just trolls and all that stuff out there. Um, but the the story was interesting because it's... It's interesting for a couple of reasons. One, politically it's interesting just because it's, it's one of those cases where technology and politics interact. And, well, I'm not going to get into... Uh, politics very much. I mean, you can already hear the zombies growling at my door. Um, it's interesting because it's one of those places where I think I might want a torch there just for sanity's sake. Um, it's one of those places where the laws have not caught up with with the tech, um, which isn't uncommon. The laws are often way behind the tech. Oh, look, iron. Because cause the end... Whoa, creeper! I would rather not get hit by the creeper. <laughs> and, uh... Whoa. Uh, hmm. That was... close. Okay, so, so the laws haven't caught up. And... That and the police departments do not have the expertise to deal with these things. That was that was one of the most interesting things about the story. Is it's, so this the, this cop said he was going to go out and he was going to try to help this uh, this scammer who was being swatted frequently, and they named the swatter. I'm not going to go into it. Um, swatters don't 
deserve any additional notoriety or anything like that. So, but she, but she was she was a gamer. I think she was on on Twitch even if I remember the, the story correctly. And you know she's there having a grand old time. She's got a, was building a bit of an audience and then uh, ran afoul of this this jerk. Who decided it would be grand fun to send the SWAT team to our house? And it's a it's a dangerous situation. They've they've had a few times where uh, people have died in SWATing incidents. Uh, you know, and they've had some. Well, it wasn't necessarily a SWATing incident. Like the the cops have gone to the wrong house. I mean, there was there was an incident. See, I, I well, there was an incident back. I think it was in Arizona. Um, the SWAT team showed up at this Marine's house. The Marines saw her people breaking in. They were being, of course, loud and violent, as SWAT teams tend to be. And so he did what any self-respecting Marine would do. And he grabbed his rifle and ready to defend his home. And he he was killed by the cops. Okay. Um and there and it's a scary situation i mean you think about it, here's a here's a family or in this case here's a, a a young woman she's she's just having fun she's i think it says she was getting to the point where she was i think she might actually be able to earn a living uh, with streaming which is a great thing i highly recommend it <laughs> if you want to help me do that uh, go to gofundme.com slash music for gaming um, but aside from bad plugs you know She's, she was doing her thing and having a grand old time. And this guy decided, well, you know, you won't, you won't do what I tell you to. And he was, he was demanding that she do some um, fairly despicable things, you know, send, uh, um, uh, I think send, send naked selfies and all those types of things. Bad, bad stuff, right? I forgot how far back I went back here in this cave. Ah, look. Iron. That looks interesting. Let me drop a jack-o'-lantern over here. Um, oh! Creepers. Creepers are not interesting. I don't like creepers. Um, in fact, they're a lot like swatters. They're, they just, they're just a real pain. Oh, come on. Just blow up already. Well, it blew up. <laughs> um, couldn't have blown up where that all that dirt was. It might have been more helpful. <sighs> anyway, so these, these yeah. So, so the the police show up at your house. Oops, I don't need the iron one right now. The police show up at your house. They're they're coming in cause, thinking that there's murder mayhem and blood in the streets at, at your house and so they're ready what's that oh you're right uh i've got my my helpers here reminding me that i've had the wrong axe out and and you know what you end up doing right? you've got these these guys coming in they're terrorizing your family i mean you know, I know there's some swatters that like to, oops, hit it with the iron pickaxe, thank you, that uh, like to hit you when you're live on the air because then they can watch it on camera. That's especially a problem for um, for streamers who, um, who who show themselves while they're, they're gaming. Put a torch up here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do here. Um... And it's it's a really dangerous it's a really dangerous thing. So uh, go take a take a read. I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but it's one of the problems I ran into in this case was the cops had no idea how to deal with this. I mean, cops are not IT people. They're not <laughs> well. Some of them might be gamers. 
they certainly don't have the knowledge and experience to be um, to be investigating cyber crimes and crap like that. So it was really hard. And it was really hard to get um, to get any uh, interest from. Oh, was, well, in this case, the guy was Canadian, so they they were having a hard time getting. Uh, the Canadian authorities to do anything. Um, you know, they finally got the FBI in to help a little bit, but man, it was, it's an interesting story. So go, go read it. Um, I'll have it. I know you can't read it live right now. I'll, uh, when the, when the show, um, once I finish recording up on YouTube, I'll add it to the description. Um, so you can, so you can go and see it. And I'll do that with all of the stories that I talk about today. Or at least all those that I have links for. <laughs> um, but uh, there's another, a couple of other interesting stories while we're talking about people who misbehave on the internet. Um, and this, this story was a... Oh, I hear water? I do hear water. Hmm, I'll have to go back there and look after I dig out all this iron. Um, a couple of other people misbehaving. So, remember last year there was a group. They called themselves Lizard Squad. Um, and they were, they were just one of these uh, troublemaker groups. They actually were, were trying to sell a um, DDoS for hire kit, I think, was the was their their plan and they decided to advertise it by taking down um, the xbox or taking back down xbox live and uh, the playstation network and they did on the week of christmas so anyone who actually wanted to play was was uh, seriously out of luck <laughs> um and it's not fun. I mean, you know all these people, especially you get these kids who are out there, who they just want to play. They don't care about anything else going on. I'm drop a torch there. What do we got? And these idiots come out and ruin the fun for everybody. Well, a bunch of those guys got arrested, which was, which I think is good for for uh, the rest of the world, but not so much fun for them. Well, the entire group isn't gone, apparently, or there's some copycat out there. But they're, uh, let's drop a torch over there. Ah, oh, yes, look, water. But you've got these copycats out there now. They're going by the name of Phantom Squad. And they, they are... Make, they've made the same announcement. They're they're claiming that on the week of Christmas they're going to DDoS the Xbox Live and the PlayStation Network and all that stuff again because they're jerks. Um, let me put that there. Actually, I really want to put that down further. I think, but yeah. So they're going to attack the net this network so that everyone has fun with. They're they're claiming it's to prove that, you know, these companies take take security seriously. Well, given that one of those companies is Microsoft, I think um, security is something they sometimes do. Ooh, look at all that redstone. I could use some of that. Ooh, that's a cool river. So, of course, getting to the redstone is going to be fun. I don't want to block off the river. I, I could do that. I could temporarily unblock it, but I think I need to quit squeezing the <laughs> that, uh, the left thumbstick. Okay. Whoa. First thing I want to do, I think, is dig out this one underneath the waterfall. So that's going to be annoying if they actually manage to carry through with their... Alright, fine. I will block it off. 
I didn't want to, but... Iron. Need the iron. <laughs> okay. Look at all that obsidian down here. Well, that's a good... S Yeah, so anyway, so if you're if you're looking at gaming this this Christmas, which you know I highly recommend, um, if things aren't going, oops, iron, things aren't going great, that's that might be why. It's because some idiots think it's it's fun to ruin it for everybody. <laughs> um, and you know, I just don't. I understand a little bit where they're coming from, you know, from a security standpoint. It's kind of like what a um, what Anonymous tries to do and all that. But I'm not a big fan of Anonymous' tactics anyway. Oh, there's the lava. Okay, let's go turn this water back on. Or I just <laughs> killed the uh, water completely. Yep, I just killed the water completely. Oh well. I wiped out the source block. So, I mean, so I, I mean, I kind of understand. A, oh, I'm stuck. Oh, and all that redstone. <laughs> Why is it dark in my house? All right. Uh, restock. Oh, yep. I'm stuck. I'm going to have to hit back. Oh, no. I've got wood. <laughs> so, anyway. So, yeah. Keep in mind that that's going on. And people are dumb. And, uh, yeah. That's it. I Sorry, I'm cranky. I just ended up falling in the lava and dying. Hey, speaking of other people who are jerks, <clears throat> this is a little more in the uh, um, oh, I don't have sticks. <laughs> Can't make torches without sticks. All right. So, other, speaking of other people who are jerks. I'm going to make a lot of torches. Uh, there's a group out in... You know, I don't think I'll leave some of those carrots behind. So there's a group out in Texas. And these all, things always happen in Texas. Because Texas laws are a little nuts. But uh, they are suing everybody. Um, let me see if I can find the list here. So the group's name is Virtual Gaming Technologies. And it's a great name for the company because virtual gaming is about all they do. The company was was uh, created in September and has, and like the first thing they did was buy up a bunch of patents and then start suing everybody. And they started suing, let me go down the list here. Uh, EA, Activision, Zynga, Take-Two, Konami. Uh, they also went, are going after DraftKings, FanDuel, uh, and Draft a Gaming, though those are less of a concern for me because I don't do fantasy sports, but and I suppose they could count as gaming. But <laughs> Oops, I forgot to put my wood back. Well, I'll chance it. I know where to get get more wood if I need to. So th these guys sued all of these companies over a patent that shows gaming stats in real time. That was that wasn't where I was. I was over where was I? Oh 
I've gotten lost. Ah, there it is. Follow the pumpkin heads. And they, they so they sued them for for patent infringement for showing player stats in real time. Now, of course, that is the staple of every sports game ever. And so these guys are are suing them again, not because of anything. I you know I can understand I I completely understand those who have spent time developing something they developed uh, developed patents they figured out how all the, that stuff works and they're trying to make a product from it and somebody horns in on their on what they're doing I understand those those guys who are upset about about patents you know if I dig out that block all of that gravel is gonna go away <laughs> okay um, I don't know that I want to dig more in that direction. <laughs> There's a lot of lava over there. I think I'll head back the other way. There was that waterfall. You know, but anyway, so I understand those people who are actually trying to protect something they have they have developed. But then you get these, these patent trolls, and that's all they are. I mean, they're not doing anything. That was not the direction I was thinking. I mean, they're not developing anything on their own. All they're doing is buying up some IP and hoping that they can strike it rich in the patent light, uh, lottery. Now they're hoping that companies that will will cave, they'll um, just pay them ridiculous amounts of money to um, to use the patents, uh, and then this, the uh, troll just goes about their merry way, suing everybody, increasing the costs of doing business without actually producing anything. And that that sort of thing just sort of annoys me. Anyway, it, it... And sadly, because it's Texas, and it, the reason these all form in Texas is the East uh, Texas... Uh, uh, court system is especially friendly to patent trolls and I don't know for certain why that is but that definitely is the case and so these, these guys are out there just uh, having a grand old time eating up resources that you know, EA and Activision could actually be spending and, uh, and all these others actually resources they could actually be spending on something fun like you know games and game development you know they in a lot of ways these guys are just as much of a uh, a uh, well they're just as a, a much of a problem to for gamers as um, phantom squad and their like when it comes to when it comes to gaming and having fun because what they're doing is they are attacking uh, not just the oops let's not dig dirt with the iron pickaxe it's a waste of a waste of an axe because uh, basically all what they're doing is they're doing a denial of service attack against not the networks that you play on but against the game companies themselves and it's it's it sucks. It really does. It's a really it's a really lousy thing to do. And this isn't obviously the only industry that it happens in. Um, it happens a lot in um, it happens a lot in, in the tech industry in general. Actually, uh, you've got got a lot of of a lot of these companies that form up and they sue over web patents or other stupid things. And I'm not going to get into the politics of it here. Um, Partly because, you know, I game to get away from a lot of that, but it's it's a mess, it really is. And I don't know, I mean, I actually know what can be done about it. They could, 
actually fix the patent system in the U.S. so that software patents are not allowed, they shouldn't be allowed, uh, because algorithms are not patentable. You can't patent, cannot patent math. And that's all a computer program is, is, is math and an algorithm. But somewhere along the line, some judge said, hey, if you use a computer with it, that's hardware, and therefore it's not uh, strictly an algorithm, and therefore it is okay. I think the courts are starting to come around on that, but uh, we shall see. I'm digging out the dirt a little bit. I say that as I dig out stone, um, because I'd like to... One, because it's easy, <laughs> and can sometimes lead deeper in without costing too many resources on my, or too much wear and tear on my, uh, on my axe. So yeah, I, lots of jerks on the, <laughs> on the internet, and not all of them are at, are hackers or, or swatters. Some of them are lawyers, which are almost as bad it seems sometimes. So, all right, let's uh, let's talk about something else. Let's talk about something f more interesting because, as as much as I like dealing with uh, politics and crap, uh, and and jerks and stuff, I actually don't. So, uh, let's move on to, to more fun things. So, so uh, obviously, let me know what you think um, in the comments on on YouTube or. Uh, when it when it drops on the uh, music free uh, or the music free gaming uh, podcast page, which will be at musicfreestatic.com slash gaming. All right, um, so fun stuff. So reports came out this week that Rocket League has brought in something like fifty million dollars, which is great um, <laughs> for an independent game. That's uh, that's really cool. Uh, maybe I'll head back that way. Of course, I kind of was. Um, and it's it's great. One of the things they uh, they cite is for their their <laughs> the reason they were able to succeed as well as they did was because they uh, they offered it free on the PlayStation Network for a while. I mean, they offered it for. Uh, it was free for I think PlayStation Plus users, and it got huge in a hurry. Um, I remember going from having never heard about it, which I think a, a lot of people were in that boat. You know, what the heck is this? To I have got to play this game because man, it, it just looks like so much fun, and it is a lot of fun. Um, I'm not <laughs> playing it today because it's a little little bit harder to play that and talk at the same time but oops the, the turns out the wood isn't going to go through the stone very well let's see if i can open up a little bit here uh so so that's oops i don't have another stone pickaxe i guess i better go back and do something about that um after i dig out some of this dirt i want to see where i'm going um so that that's gr that's great. Um, everyone jokes, "Hey, it's a sequel to a game nobody heard about," and that is absolutely true. Uh, but man, it's a lot of fun. I, I I love playing Rocket League, and they've just added some new features for the holidays. Um, you can they added a new mode to the online playlist. Uh, I think that's called Snow Day. Which is basically uh, Rocket League hockey. Um, and that's that's fun. It's definitely odd because uh, the puck does not bounce anywhere close to how a ball does, and so it gets a little odd. And, you know, one of the things like in Rocket League, you'll get that shot from the side it goes across the across the goal. Well, with the ball, more often than not, that just bounces out. But with the puck, <laughs> more often than not, that stays in. Um, that just manages to, to bounce into the into the goal. Oops. 
And so it's like oh, all the stuff that oh, I don't have to quite worry about that one. No, you have to worry about that shot because it's it's going in. <laughs> so so good stuff there, and and they've got a whole bunch of um, holiday themed. Uh, holiday thing with little bonuses and things. Um, oh, I'm so sad. I'm down here and mourn all my redstone. Uh, okay. Oh, look at that up there. This is why you turn around. There's some iron, or some uh, emerald up there. And there's a zombie around here somewhere. And I'm not talking about the phantom spot. Oh, better get him before he gets me. Huh. All right. So good stuff. Are you so? Are you? Have you been playing Rocket League? You're looking, enjoying the, the snow day mode and all that stuff. I, I I've in, I've liked it. It's been fun. Um, oh. <laughs> Took me a minute to find it. I'm still sort of new to Rocket League, so I wasn't quite sure where to look, but. And those zombies. So I hear a zombie and I hear a spider. I'm not real keen to meet up with either of them. Especially since I have... Oh, that's the place, other place I wanted to go explore. Let me uh, throw a torch out there. Because that looks like fun. So, I'm going to go... I need to go build myself another axe. I thought I had enough, but apparently not. Jack-o'-lanterns are actually kind of a nice way to f lead you back to where you're going. Sort of mark the <laughs> the path home. Why do I have so much darkness over here? Um, cause that's a torch, right? <laughs> um, cause that, that's just weird. <laughs> okay, so let me get back up here. Then I'll then I'll talk about uh, some new new things that were added to. My jack-o'-lantern is out. <laughs> it's like, what the heck, man? The game has forgotten what light is. <laughs> ah, sticks. Okay, I have sticks and I have stones. So. Make a couple more of those. Oh, oh, I do still have some more so. Make a few more pickaxes here while I'm while I'm working at it here. Put a couple of those back in the trunk. Okay, so so all right, so let's let's talk about something else. Before I get to that, I'd like to um, point you over at uh, GoFundMe.com/slash/music-for-gaming where you can subscribe to all of the music free well subscribe <laughs> you can help fund all of the music free goodness um, and uh, yeah because I, I, what I want to do is I want to try to I want to build a, a capture machine so I can get better uh, gameplay capture not just from because you know from my PS4 which does okay though the audio quality on the mic is a little bit uh, a little bit poor, despite having a decent microphone. But, uh, you know, I think I'll throw a torch up here. Uh, but, you know, I can capture from from the uh, my PS2 and, and all that other fun. So, so check that out and um, help me there. 
Also, if you are really excited about it, uh, you can subscribe or follow Music Free Gaming on Twitch at twitch.tv slash musicfreegaming. Or uh, um, if you go to musicfreestatic.com slash gaming, which is the, the home of Music Free Gaming, you can also subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'd give you the URL, but I don't have a nice, uh, easy to remember URL yet. You can get there from the Twitch channel. Or you can follow Music Free Gaming on Twitter at Music Free Gaming. And I've just widened that waterfall a little bit. Okay. All right. So let's get into the the last story here, which is about Minecraft. And Minecraft dropped a very large update uh, this last. Well, let's see. It downloaded on my system yesterday, <laughs> and it adds all sorts of fun stuff. Um, it's added. I'm calling them a new enemy. I don't know that. that uh, Mojang and Microsoft actually consider them enemies. <laughs> they've added rabbits. Um, they added lots of other things, but they've added rabbits. And rabbits are annoying because they will eat your crops. And, and yeah, the good news is rabbits are um, great for ingredients in stew. <laughs> you can also make, uh, I think you can also throw them into potions. Uh, I'm being told by my uh, live studio audience here. So, uh, so that's a, that's kind of fun and exciting. Uh, where does this river go? I'm actually really curious now. It's one of the fun things about Minecraft is just is actually the exploring. But it would have been, I'd be happier exploring if I hadn't lost all of that uh, redstone I had just mined out. <sighs> Toss a torch over there. So, uh, so, but there's more to the update than rabbits. Um, <laughs> in addition to to uh, old bugs out there, you also get um, they've added some some new uh, land types. So they've got uh, they've got red sandstone and. Oh, let's see what they got. Granite, red sandstone, sea lanterns, uh, slime, packed ice. All that comes to consoles now. Um, also, also they've got uh, new gardens. They've got uh, or new gardens, new flowers and things. So you get uh, oh, blue orchids, sunflowers, um, azure, bluets, tulips, lilacs. Um, lots of other flowers, because one of the new biomes is a uh, flower forest, which sounds really cool. Um, I actually don't know. I'm new enough to, to Minecraft to know if the new biomes will show up in existing um, existing maps. I, d I honestly, I would suspect no, but if I'm wrong, please let me know, because I'm... <laughs> I'd like to see them, but I don't want to generate a new map just to see them. Ooh, coal is good. So I'm going to dig out a little bit more of this dirt. Let some more water through. Um, water underground is good. It helps uh, mitigate that whole lava problem. Um, <laughs> and, you know, you can end up with some obsidian, which is also good. Unfortunately, I don't have a diamond pickaxe to get at the obsidian I found. Uh, okay, so let's see what else. Oh, they've, so they've got some other biomes. They've got some deep ocean now that generates, and you've got uh, ocean monuments where you get to deal with the unpleasantness of elder guardians and, and that type of, of thing, which uh, they look to be a fair... They're a fairly nasty critter, and they've been around for a while. <laughs> but uh, definitely not something that you want to take on in your swim trunks <laughs> with your wooden sword. So, uh, but lots of, of treasure potentially there. So, so always worth uh, checking out. And so they've added. They've added a, a sort of a flower forest. They've added a new rainforest 
Um, uh, what was the other? Let's see if I can find it here in the find it here in the story. Chink and chink and chink and chink. No, it doesn't. Though they show um, their announcement trailer shows fun things like uh, oh, they show a desert. Sort of like the painted desert in Arizona, um, that type of of thing. Um, oops, don't use your sword to hack away at the stone. This is not Camelot. If I pull the sword from the stone, I don't become king of England. <laughs> so, so this is cool. Um, some of this stuff has been around for a while. Um, I think some of it's been in the PC version. But uh, it's nice to see it coming to consoles. It's It's been touted here. Um, this story I've got from uh, Xbox News, uh, news.xbox.com, claims it's the largest Minecraft update for consoles um, in a while. So, okay, Let's make sure I can get out of this uh, hole I've dug. So, Minecraft is not like real life. If you get into a hole, if you you don't want to stop digging, you want to dig yourself out <laughs> because you actually can. So, so lots of good stuff on that front. Um, definitely worth uh, worth playing again. And I, I would, I know the critters. I'm sure I'll see in my new map or in my existing map. So, as I'm playing, uh, I'm sure we'll, I'll run into some of those. <sighs> but. I'm I'm really curious to see if those are going to show up in my existing <laughs> my existing map somewhere where I have yet to explore. Because, uh, you know, procedurally generated and all that fun stuff, right? Alright, let's drop a torch down here and see what's see what's on the menu. A deep hole is what's on the menu. All right, so hey, if you've got, uh, uh, if you have uh, comments about today's show, uh, as always, you can uh, chat about them in the comments on on YouTube. Um, I'm almost always happy to hear what people have to say as I scarf down some carrots. And uh, if you're looking for an audio version of, of the show, you can get it on iTunes. Um, I think you should be able to get it on Stitcher, um, TuneIn, all that fun stuff. You can subscribe in your favorite podcast reader. Um, so along with all of the, the, the other Music Free Static podcasts. Um, but since I do gameplay during the... This is, this is a show that's really much more fun to, to watch than to just... Uh, just get the audio plus you get to see what's going on when i set myself on fire so yay or something <laughs> um one last uh couple of last notes actually so music free uh music free gaming is licensed under the um, standard youtube license so uh unlike my other shows which are creative commons this one is not so unfortunately you don't get to share this one but uh, and remix it and do all that stuff but uh, but still so check that out and um, there will be let's see I'm trying to get my days right yeah there will there will be there will be a show next week but there will not be one over New Year's uh, New Year's weekend so I'm gonna spend that weekend with family rather than uh, digging in in Minecraft so so I'll see you next week, and I am fully planning on getting a new Music Free Tech up, uh, Music Free Tech podcast up today. Now that I've got my streaming box, I like streaming box. My laptop is functional again. Got a new hard drive for it, which is why I couldn't do my shows last week. So, ah, so check that out. Um, actually, I don't know if I'm doing Music Free Tech. I do have a new, new Music Free uh, Politics, I think that I'm, I'm putting up so so anyway stay tuned on music free static for all that stuff and and if said if you just want gaming news stick around on uh 
Music Free Gaming Twitter, or jump over to the Music Free Gaming subreddit, and we'll chat and have all sorts of fun there, too. So, so I'll go ahead and uh, shut down this stream for now, and I think I'm going to come back. I'll keep playing Minecraft in, 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 the, uh, in an after show here, but uh, for now, I'll stop this so it's an easy share on YouTube, and I will be back in just a little bit. Until then, this is Music Free Gaming signing off.